injuries are gonna happen. It's a great art form, but it's strenuous on your body. I ended up with a tear in my patellar tendon. I had an injury on my ankle. Having to go through the whole recovery process, it's extremely hard to handle. The doctor suggested that I take a whole summer off, and that was like a really scary thought because ballet was the most important thing. Partnering is one of my favorite things about ballet. The full French name is pas de deux, or we call it pas, but that all refers to when two people dance together. Push her forward, Victor. Forward, now bring her back. There are definitely many requirements that you have to fulfill to be a professional dancer in terms of your body type, your ability. What do you think gets you around this? That's yeah. what's gonna get you around. You don't need any force, just cross your little legs. It's too short too, isn't it? Yeah. It's more desirable to be taller, and I'm not a tall guy. So I need to work harder. Wait, we want to see that. Th boys, this diamond shape is every time it happens. That's it, Victor. Don't look at yourself. We want to look at her. Now you put your cheek against her. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Several of you are doing this. <laughs> you like fixing your hair, seeing how you look. You're not a male model, you're her partner. <laughs> It can be really challenging knowing that you have to literally dance with someone and feed off of them and it's not about you anymore. It wouldn't be a pas de deux without the other person. The taller you are, the longer line you make on stage. You always want a lean line and strength for partnering. That's it, Victor. Thanks, okay. girls. Thank yeah. you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. My first partner, <laughs> I was like kind of tall. He was so short. I was here and he was here, and we had to do like a doll dance, and that was like my first partnering thing. And we couldn't like actually do anything. We just like danced by each other. Who did I go with at the beginning of the last year? I went Victor. Oh, yeah. Which is a whole other story, too, because he was this short and I was tall again, so we couldn't do any of the stuff. Everyone has something that they're good at and they can bring to the table. There are tons of phenomenal dancers in all companies that don't have the perfect body type, but they all have something about them that just draws your eye on stage. I ended up with a tear in my patellar tendon. That tendon is stressed when you're jumping, plieing, doing movements on one leg, and I tried pretty much everything to get it better. So they told me I should get surgery. The doctor suggested that I take a whole summer off, and that was like a really scary thought because ballet was the most important thing. I had an injury on my ankle. The mental battles you have to go through on a daily basis to assure you that you really want to do this, it's extremely hard to handle. When they have to sit out, you know that they're depressed, but it's required that they come and watch. We've often seen that they improve by watching. So when they come back, they're, some of them are even better than they were before. You really just learn to like take things slowly and you know that if you want to do this with your life, you have to like get past this hard point where you aren't able to do what you love so that you can get to that point where you can work every day and strive to be what you want to be gave me a lot of time to actually focus on music, and I decided to pick up the guitar. I like auditioned for this thing at this place called The Bitter End. It's like this famous rock folk music club, and uh, I got in. He said that I can do like a 15 oh minute gosh, set. Oh my gosh, Victor, so. that's so <laughs> I have to recommend the guitar takes a lot of focus and attention, so there's no room in your head for any of your negative thoughts about the dance world, about did I do well in class today, is my knee gonna hurt tomorrow, things like that. And it just takes my mind off. Yes. 
my knee stopping my career from reaching its full potential. It's always a thought in my head, but I think the big thing that carried over after my injury was you have to be determined. You have to believe in yourself that you're going to do whatever it takes. I'm so excited for tomorrow night. Wait, how often do you write? Like, all the time. Who was that song written about? Come on, I cannot say Shame that. Shame them. Uh-uh. Sorry about that, guys. How are you? It's like when you're dancing, it's like it's the exact same thing I get, that adrenaline rush and stuff. It's just like going to an audition for ballet, it's, it's the same thing. What in life could make me forget you? Everyone I had started in this race. Ballet was just everything I thought about. And then after my knee injury, music sort of leveled things out. I decided to continue my studies at Fordham University. I always want to keep my mind active. It's not necessarily my plan B, but that's what my parents did as professional dancers. It's love versus time. This year, I'm 18 and I have to get a job. Which is kind of scary. Try not to move your upper thigh so much so this isn't going to go up and down. To make it as a professional dancer, you have to be mentally strong. 